Okay, so in this video, I want to talk to you about prompt templates. Prompt templates basically allow you to have variables in your prompt, meaning that you can have a part of your prompt that, is, that can be changed later um, when the prompt is used. So I'm going to show you how to use prompt template with Superpower Chat GPT. So first thing you need to do is to go to Google Superpower Chat GPT. Click on the first result. It will send you to this page and there is a button that says add to Chrome. Click on that button and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, go back to um, ChatGPT, refresh the page and wait for your chats to get synced. Once everything is synced, you can start using all the feature of the um, extension. You will see search bar here. You'll see folders. You can create folders. There's a new nav bar at the top, a bunch of extra features that I talk about uh, in another video. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the prompt template. So first thing first, you need to uh, enable the prompt template feature before you use it. So to do that, you go to the setting, go to prompt input, and then there is an option at the bottom that says prompt template, the last option. Make sure this option is on. Uh, if you don't want to use the prompt template, you can just turn it off. But uh, for now, we're going to turn it on and, and use this. So the way you use prompt template is by using double curly bracket. Let's say like you put something here like title and then you know, close the curly bracket. So that's how you use, you um, create variable in your prompt. So let me show you how like I use it in like a very simple prompt. Here I have a prompt that says, write me a number of paragraph, paragraph blog post about title. So as you can see, I have two variable in my prompt, number of paragraphs and the title. These are the variable in my prompt that can be changed. So if I don't have the, um, the prompt template option on, I, after I submit this, it's just gonna like submit the prompt like that. It's not gonna do anything. But if I go to the setting and go to under input, turn prompt template on, close it, start a new chat, and submit that same prompt again, this time you'll see a new window because we turned on the uh, prompt template uh, option. So in this window, at the top, it says template words. These are the words in your template that can be changed. Um, at the top, you see a preview of your prompt that you're about to submit. Write me a number of paragraph, paragraph, blog posts about title. As you can see, both of those um, variables are now in these like um, rectangle thing with board with the gold border, meaning that these are the, the variable in your prompt. And then right under the uh, prompt preview, you see two box. You can have as many prompt templates, as many variable as you want in, in your prompt, and you'll see a different box for each prompt, unless those uh, variables have the same name. So for example, if you use title twice in your uh, prompt, you'll only see one box here and whatever you put here, it will replace every instance of title in your prompt. So let's say I'm gonna say like, write me a three paragraph uh, blog post about remote work. And then I can, there is a submit button down here. I'm gonna click on submit. And what it does is it will automatically replace the, um, variable in my prompt with the value that I put inside the prompt template. Now you might ask, why can't I just like write the prompt like that and um, just use that? Yes, you can do that. But if this is the prompt that you use very often, or if this is a prompt that you want to share with other people, like for example, if you want to share this prompt in our community prompt, you can share this prompt with uh, with like variable, with double curly bracket. That way, when someone else uh, see your prompt and try to use prompt, they know that these parts of your prompt, these section, the number of paragraph and the title 
are variable and they, they are supposed to change them and they can change them to whatever value they want them to change to. That's how prompt template um, can, can be useful. Another um, way uh, to use prompt template to make them even more powerful is to combine them with the prompt chain. I've talked about the prompt chain in another video, but um, just to give you a very quick overview, we have the prompt chain. Prompt chain basically allows you to um, run a series of prompt one after each other. Make sure to watch the other video to get familiar with what, what prompt chains are. But basically I can have, instead of saving one prompt, I can save a multi-step prompt. And right here I can just say, uh, use the curly bracket number of paragraphs and um, like title. And then I can have like, um, write me a conclusion, conclusion for um, title for um, blog post with title. And let me just remove this last one. So if I use um, my, if I use prompt template in a prompt chain, prompt chain automatically run a step by step one prompt after uh, the other prompt. So I don't have to do anything. But if I do use um, these like prompt template in my prompt chain, not only it will run every prompt one after each other, but also it will ask me for the very va uh, value of those variable in my prompt template once it reaches that prompt if i save this prompt go to a new conversation and run that uh, prompt uh, chain that i just started i can just press enter it will ask me for that so let's say i put three and i say remote work again and i press submit and i'm going to wait until the second uh, prompt is going to run and once the second prompt is about to run it will put that in there it will try to submit it and it will immediately as you see uh, it's asking me to like put the um, value for that title now i use title it's the same thing um, i could use like a different um, uh, variable here or say maybe write me a con uh, write me like a um, three like a three bullet point conclusion and put like the three in a curly bracket as like the number of bullet points and then try to submit that but i just like use the same um variable here you don't have to you can use whatever variable that you want and then i will submit that and it will like continue right running the prompt for me so it makes it um very easy to just sit back run the prompt chain or run just your prompt and just watch your prompt just running one after each other and then whenever it needs some sort of uh, input from you it will ask you to insert the input if you use um i don't know maybe sometimes you want to like um, use some math formula or like some code that require to like have double curly bracket uh and you don't want them to be considered as a prompt template. You don't want the prompt template window to uh, show up. Just make sure to go to the setting and go to the prompt template and turn this option off and then uh, continue like using chat GPT. That way the, the curly bracket uh, won't be recognized as like a variable in your prompt. Um, that's it, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is Prompt Template. Uh, I hope you like it, give it a try. They, they are very useful um, in many cases. So um, let me know what you think in the comment. Thank you.